Hey, is it possible to get system to look like this so that you have these blocks in here? This was a question from somebody in my VIP membership, and I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So the first thing is, let's just pretend this is a blank page. What you want to do is you want to drag three columns. Once you're here, here's what I want you to do. Grab the content box and put this inside like so. Now you're going to go to the section of this part of the section. And what you want to do is you want to click on background color and I'm going to put gray just for the purpose of demonstration. Now that you're here, you're going to click on content box and you're going to make the background color of this. You're going to make this white. So the content box is going to be white. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to create this content box the way you want it to be. So in this case, we are going to, first of all, click, turn it off. Then we're going to click here. We're going to go back to text headline and let's just have a look at what she wanted to have. So first is an image text and a button. So you can do, I'm going to do a headline because I think a headline is better. So let's say I want to showcase my course landing page in a day. So I'm going to do like, so then I'm going to scroll down, put an image like, so I'm going to click into it. I'm going to click on the image file. I already have a bunch of images right here and I'm going to find a product mockup. So landing page in a day, search for the word landing, landing page in a day, insert. Here it is. Now I'm going to put a bunch of text right below it inside the content box. It's going to say, this course is going to take you through from A to Z, how to set up a list building opt-in page so you can start building an email list. Let's say we'll do it like so. Now I'm going to now put a button below it like so. And then this is the button. And I'm going to, of course, maybe put the URL for the sales page. So in this case, the actual sales page is a run dot link forward slash LP. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to open in a new window and I'm going to learn more and I'm going to delete the subtext. And then I'm going to perfect this particular button. So I like it the way my branding is. So mine is orange, let's just say. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to make this so it's not solid like so. I'm going to make the button. In my case, I like to make it shadow. So I'm going to make it hard shadow. And also this particular page, you will notice that the text is not this. It's based on the font of the page. So I'm going to go to settings and change the font to my brand, which is Poppins. The text color, I'm going to make it black. And then I'm going to make this also Poppins. And also I'm going to make it black. And now everything is customizable. Now I'm going to change this so the text is not so squishy like this. And then I'll make it on the left like so. I can make this bold as well. Now there's a few things. First of all, in the content box, what you want to do, there is a couple of points. Let's just say that the background, I want it to not be orange. I want it to be a little bit lighter. So a couple of things you could do. You can either go like so and make it so it's less brighter, like, like that, or you can just make it um, gray again, but you just make it a bit brighter by clicking somewhere around here. So let's just say this is the brand. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab my brand color so you can see it the way I have it or the, the way I would do it as if I'm building it for myself. So I'm going to grab my brand color from here. I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm going to put the color hex and this is the background. Now you will see here the content box, the background color or the color around it. Like so the, the color is blue. So I'm going to change it to orange. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab the primary, go back to the editor, replace this. And now you will notice that now this is now that same orange. Now you'll notice a couple of points. Number one, this is a bit squishy on the inside and the outside, I want to make it a little bit more spaced out. And this is really important because you will notice that the padding is 10 and the margins is zero. So I want to make the margins 10. I'm going to make the padding 20. Let's make it 15. Okay. And then I'm going to make this text smaller. So let's say make it 26. This is going to be 20. Make it 18. 20 is fine. And then the content box, I'm also going to make it. So it is also a hard shadow. I can also do, for example, dark with highlights. So it's a little bit like so as an example. So you can play around with how you want the content box to be like. Now, once you've done this, what you can do is once you've got it perfectly the way you want it, 
you're going to basically click on copy and then you're going to drag this over to the next side and then you're going to copy and drag it again to the next side now if you want to use this particular style in other pages all you got to do is click on the content box and click on save and i'm going to call this content and then label it content box and let's just say uh, course outline or product product outline template let's just say click on create and if i want to use this type of a box in other places i can do that as well now the last thing you want to do is you obviously want to check the mobile to see if you're happy with it as you can see that it's there's no spaces in between so what you want to do you want to click here and then as you go down you go to margins then you're going to basically make this 10 and it's going to then be the way you want it to be and this is only going to change the mobile so let's do it like so like so and this is perfect this is how you want it to look like go back to desktop and here it is so that's how you customize it obviously you may not like this look and feel but the point is you can customize all of that way beyond what you're actually seeing but this is how you create that so hope this is helpful if you've got other requests like this let me know if you're in my vip membership you'll get a response in a video like that in under 24 hours and if you are not that's okay you can go to a run.link forward slash vip to learn more about it or you can leave a comment below with your request or query and i will also answer you as soon as i got a moment but obviously paying customers get a reply right away so this is a question for somebody in my membership and i wanted to just showcase how to do it and also now that i've created this what i can do is i can actually save this block now that i've saved it and i can actually share this in my vip membership and give it to her to use right away exactly like i created it right here and all she's got to do is customize the image the text the button the headline and she's got it done so that's pretty much it thanks all for watching i'll speak to you soon